Welcome to Retrobot, the YouTube channel where we feed a friendly space robot a diet of pure nostalgia. I'm Clay, and this is a Short Circuits video. Shorter formats for your retro viewing needs. Today we are talking about Masters of the Universe Origins series, Man E Faces. Let's jump right in. There he is, and he looks great. This is one of the new figures for the Masters of the Universe Origins series, where they're bringing back those original Masters of the Universe figures in all of their glory, except with better posability and articulation and generally just uh, better quality. Now you can see here I have an original Manny e Faces uh, who has has seen better days. He's a little bit scuffed up and uh, and he's uh, he's certainly showing some wear. Uh, but he does still function. He still has his uh, his shoulder joints and everything, and you know, sort of the uh, the swivel punching action. But most important with Manny Faces was his ability to change his face. So you have the monster face, and here let's let's get a close up view of that. So we have the monster face and the robot face. And then we have, of course, the normal human-esque face. Uh, I don't know what Manny Faces is. Maybe he transforms when he changes faces. It's, I, I think that's the gimmick. But does that make him human? Does that make him a monster? Does it make him a cyborg? I don't know. And so that is the original. Then let's take a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins version. And right away, aside from the fact that he is uh, much brighter, uh, he has pretty much yellow skin, and, uh, and he's very, very well articulated, but notice that they've also given him the ability to pivot his head. So you move the helmet and he looks around. That is a great addition to the figure. It really adds a lot. Uh, he comes with a gun. It's just a molded gun. It doesn't shoot anything. Uh, of course, he's got all the articulation that you've come to expect from this series with both raising and lowering shoulders as well as rotating shoulders and swivels and pivots in the elbows, swivels and piv pivots in the wrists, uh, a pivoting waist, a ball joint at the thigh, a, a swiveling and pivoting knee and a an articulated ankle joint. So he can get into all the cool poses that you need your heroes and villains to get into. Plus, he can turn his head and, of course, he does change faces. Now, if you, if you can tell here, it actually has a little bit of a click. So for each face, it does kind of click in which is nice because the original didn't have that either. So we've got, we've got essentially just an overall better toy in every dynamic when compared to the original. And, and that's really what this whole series is about. It's about taking these original Masters of the Universe figures and bringing them into the modern, the modern age manufacturing them with modern articulation while still capturing that that nostalgic feel of these toys. This comes with a comic book, a little, a little mini comic, and this one appears to be about uh, there being two Orcos. Um, does, does anybody want there to be two Orcos? Because when I was a kid I didn't want there to be one Orco. So um, I, I've actually read it and uh, spoiler alert, one of them Skeletor. So, uh, yeah, uh, but it's cool that they have these comics. The comics are just saturated nostalgia. They are done in the old style uh, with the, they, they are very, very retro looking and, and the artwork is actually pretty decent. Uh, you know, they, they, they look great and uh, so, you know, this is a fun add-on that just adds a little bit 
to the whole universe as you get these retro toys and it just uh you know it, it, it's it's just an extra level of fun nostalgia that they have put into these toys so uh so I, i'm kind of a fan of these uh I, I really admire what they've done with this whole series giving us these excellent excellent toys at a pretty reasonable price point and being able to recapture something that was part of a lot of our youths and uh, being able to share them with our kids. If you have kids, um, I have cats and I'm not gonna share these with my cats because I'm selfish that way. So that's it. That is Masters of the Universe Origins man E faces because he's got many faces and man E is like many that's many faces that you know I, I I didn't write that one that that's that joke is like 30 years old so you know that's what they did if you like these videos then please give this a thumbs up and if you like these kinds of videos consider su subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so that you know each time we're doing one of these short circuits videos which we try to do uh, sometimes several times throughout the week also we do a live stream every Friday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time US or in the winter time it's Eastern Standard Time because the US is wonky and does daylight savings time and it's kind of kind of weird so yeah that's when you can find us talking about toys and uh, there's a live chat running during the live stream and we have a lot of fun please feel free to join in uh, you are you're cordially invited and if you show up in the chat then uh, then we'll we'll toast you and and say hi and stuff like that it's it's fun so other than that Masters of the Universe Origin Series, definitely a thumbs up. Manny Faces, definite thumbs up. This is Clay telling you to keep it retro, bot. Keep it retro, bot. There he is. There's retro, bot. It's more of a logo version of retro, bot. We have a robot. He's not in this video. He was in our last live stream, though. You can see Retrobot sometime. Come back, we'll show you Retrobot. He's cool.